To keep kids safe, Pikeville Medical Center's trauma department delivered Stop the Bleed kits to Pike County School nurses so that they may have them in the event of an emergency. So what we did here today was we brought all the school nurses in from Pike County uh, throughout the system to teach them about Stop the Bleed. And what Stop the Bleed is is a course that's been put out nationwide by the American College of Surgeons, the Committee on uh, Tactical Combat Casualty Care, and it's also been part of the Hartford Consensus. As Settles adds, given Pike County's topography, it can take time for first responders to reach a student in need. School nurse Lori Hatfield says it can take first responders over an hour to reach a student. Um, it can take up to an hour to an hour and 45 minutes to get an ambulance in certain areas. Um, when we don't have a whole lot of resources, so this actually helps us um, until paramedics arrive. We are Pikeville Medical Center. And we are an amazing place to work. Healthcare heroes of all types work here. All who deserve great rewards. So while our heroes are working hard to take care of our patients and visitors, we are taking care of them with top tier benefits, higher pay rates, and great sign-on bonuses. So join our team today. So what are you waiting for? Apply today. Incredible opportunities await at pmcjobs.org. During training, school nurses were taught how to recognize bleeding and control it through methods such as compression and packing. Hatfield says the training prepares them to act quickly. It prepares us if a kid is injured and they have a life-threatening bleed, um, an arterial bleed, we can actually apply a tourniquet and some pressure and actually keep this child alive until the paramedics do get there. According to Suttles, bleeding is the top preventable cause of death among injuries and that with the kits and training, he hopes the nurses are better prepared for emergencies. The other thing that we're hoping to gain out of this is that the school nurses go back and take this training back to the rest of the school where they work. And that can be everybody within the, the system. We've also offered to come out and help the school nurses when they decide to put on their courses at their individual locations to uh, assist them as needed. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.